Drayshawn Ward, by all intents and purposes, is going to be a really, really good player for Kansas State and was at Florida State last year. I mean, he crushed Oklahoma in the bowl game. If you, if you want to go look at that tape, he looked really impressive, very dynamic, probably something that Kansas State doesn't have in the backfield that he can provide. And DJ Giddens, that's probably your budding star. Like, right, he's could be the next big deal. It, when Trayshawn Ward's eligibility expires or he chooses to go on and give, give the NFL a try, I mean – it would not shock me. Now, Joe Jackson could be pretty good and really force his hand into the rotation at some point, like really squarely. But DJ Giddens is, is good enough to, to kind of force his way into that dominant role, uh, being the lead bell cow, like you kind of mentioned that Deuce Bond did. I mean, I think he's that good or will be that good. And again, starting to slow down for him a little bit, and he understands what it takes uh, to be successful on Saturdays and it's not just showing up on Saturdays and, and, re- and relying on your raw talent, which I think he was always able to do at junction city. And then I guess probably thought maybe that's how it would be at every level, but the, you know, where you can tell that he's made the biggest steps in development and maybe maturation was when I asked him on Tuesday because he was available to the media one, just how much more comfortable he was with the media. I think we spoke to him once last year, might've been after the Iowa state game. I want to say, and that was a guy who was that really that wasn't his calling right he didn't want to be in the media his answers were pretty short it was definitely not something that uh he really wanted to do now he probably didn't want to do it on tuesday either let's be honest but he was a much more comfortable gave a lot better answers you could tell that the, the game has slowed down for him but the biggest thing is when i asked him what he learned the most from deuce vaughn it wasn't you know this particular trait or, or this particular skill or, you know, doing this in, in this moment or how to read a defense. It was none of that. Although that all probably goes into what his answer was. His answer was having the mindset and the approach and attacking preparation Monday through Friday. Like you can't just show up on Saturday and expect to be great. Um, what he learned the most from Deuce Vaughn was what Deuce Vaughn was on Saturday was a product of what he did in terms of recovery uh, preparation, just everything that went into it from Monday through Friday. So Deuce Vaughn um, obviously made a large impact on DJ Giddens because now he's understanding that, you know, it's not just about Saturday. It's also about Monday through Friday. And, and I think that's a big thing. So now the question was about running back distribution. I really don't know how it's going to look. I I mean, Chris Kleiman even mentioned something about a hot hand. I think that's, I think that's definitely possible. I definitely don't want to disrupt any rhythm that might be, had by someone i the only thing that i think that i would feel comfortable with saying is that i think dj giddens is the perfect fourth quarter running back that where he he's already splitting the carries and touches a little bit in, in snaps with Trayshawn ward so he's still going to be pretty fresh in the fourth quarter he's a downhill physical bruiser and when you can use that to really ice a game really use that returning the entire returning offensive line and really lean on a defense i think that really comes into play at the end of games